Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Meghan Markle and Kate Middleton reportedly were never friends apart from formality. Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, is no longer a senior member of the royal family following her dramatic exit from the royal inner circle earlier this spring. Meghan, along with her husband, Prince Harry, and their infant son, Archie Harrison, is living in California while they plan their next steps. Now that Meghan and Prince Harry have distanced themselves from their former life, sources are coming out, revealing details about what really happened during Meghan's time in the fold. According to a new book, Meghan's relationship with Catherine, Duchess of Cambridge was very different from what has been reported in the media. The royal couples were dubbed the Fab Four. When Meghan first met Prince Harry's family, reports were positive. There were claims that Meghan got along very well with Kate, and that she formed a special bond with Queen Elizabeth, Prince Harry's grandmother. As the days went on, the royals began to incorporate Meghan into more of their day-to-day -day activities, proving not only that Prince Harry was serious about his future with the actress, but that Meghan was determined to make her own mark within the family. After Meghan and Prince Harry got married in May 2018, they began working on special projects with Prince William and Kate, including their joint charity, the Royal Foundation. The media even dubbed the two couples the Fab Four. Sadly, the partnership was short, lived, and not only after they joined forces, the Fab Four disbanded, with Prince Harry and Meghan taking off on their own to work on different charity ventures. Meghan and Kate's rumored feud. Around the same time that the couple stopped working together, rumors started that Meghan and Kate were embroiled in a feud. Various tabloid reports claim that Kate's more restrained, calm personality clashed with Meghan's more headstrong attitude. Other news stories stated that Meghan and Kate did what they could to avoid being in the same room and even that their feud was causing friction between other members of the royal family. As the months wore on, it became evident that there was never any real feud between Meghan and Kate. Not only were the two women spotted attending events together, but new sources stated that the real problem was between Prince William and Prince Harry. It seemed as though, if anything, the media was dead set on portraying Meghan and Kate as bitter rivals, no matter what. A new source states Kate and Meghan were never friends. These days, Prince Harry and Meghan are focused on doing their own thing and haven't seen the rest of the royal family in months, apart from video calls. Still, a new book claims that the distance between the couples isn't due to any real negativity, but simply due to a lack of any real closeness between Kate and Meghan. The source states that far from being friendly or even bitter rivals, the two women never got past the distant politeness of when they first met. In light of this new information, it seems as though the two women attending events together could have been their way of trying to further their relationship. Perhaps they tried to cultivate a real friendship, but couldn't find enough in common to make any real connection. After all, their life experiences couldn't have been more different, and forcing friendships rarely works. Still, there has been nothing to suggest that Meghan and Kate hold any ill will toward each other. More than likely, they are handling the situation like mature adults. And so on to other news and, are Prince Harry and Meghan Markle worried about the new tell-all book? Prince Harry and Meghan? Duchess of Sussex are used to having everyone prying into their lives. Being royal causes a certain fanfare, and it only makes sense that people would want to know more about the inner workings of the royal family. But even still, the Sussexes have made it clear that they are not fans of the press invading their privacy and publishing stories about them. So, how are they feeling now that a new tell? All book is being published about them. What is the book? Finding Freedom, Herod, Megan, and the Making of a Modern Royal Family, written by royal experts Omid Scabi and Carolyn Durand, 
isn't set to come out until August. 11. But the striking claims in it have already been making the rounds. Though the book has a number of insider details about the Sussexes' lives, they did not contribute to it at all. May spokesperson told Entertainment Tonight. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex were not interviewed and did not contribute to finding freedom. This book is based on the author's own experiences as members of the Royal Press Corps and their own independent reporting. So, the book, while thoroughly researched, cannot be considered an official biography because without Meghan and Harry's input, the authors and sources were still assuming the royal couple's thoughts and feelings. How do Meghan and Harry feel about the book? It's no secret that Meghan and Harry are not big fans of the way that the media has treated them in the past. They've even filed a number of lawsuits against media and paparazzi, who have invaded their privacy. This book could be the biggest invasion of privacy yet, but surprisingly the royal couple is not concerned. A source close to the couple told Hollywood Life, They're not paying it any mind, although there have been rumors that they collaborated on this book, that's simply not true. They didn't give a single interview for it. The authors are part of the Royal Press Corps, so they've had contact with Meghan and Harry over the years, but this is by no means the official Meghan and Harry biography. What are some claims in Finding Freedom? The book makes quite a few interesting claims, including that Meghan used to stage paparazzi photos. The book reads, While Meghan, before she met Harry, had occasionally set up a paparazzi photo here and there, or let info slip out to the press, she did everything in her power to protect the privacy of her relationship with the prince. She knew that keeping things quiet meant that they could get to know each other without pressure or further worries that came from reporters covering and commenting on their burgeoning romance. It also reveals that Harry cut off people who showed any dislike of Meghan. The book claims. When he first started seeing her, Harry, sensitive to even the slightest hint of prejudice, had fallouts within his own circle. When some questioned his new relationship and whether she was suitable, he would wonder, is this about race? Is it snobbery? An old friend of Harry's spent an afternoon gossiping about Meghan, making disparaging remarks about her Hollywood background. Word got back to Harry, and the prince immediately cut him off. If he was willing to confront those close to him, when it came to the media, Harry was poised for outright war. The book also covers the tension between Harry and his brother William, Meghan's relationship with Catherine, Duchess of Cambridge, and the Sussexes' exit from working royal life. Check out one of our newest videos right here, plus even more LMT videos about your favorite stuff. For coming soon, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one. Don't stop.